Today we will discuss about concept of species and tools for the study of taxonomy in the living world unit 1 chapter 1 in zoology. So concept of species. So before we have we must know the what is species as you have studied the classification. The species is the basic unit of classification and all the scientists had discussed the basic level first they discuss about the basic level that is the basic level is the species so john ray carolus linnaeus charles darwin all the scientists had discussed about the concept of species first they discuss about the concept of species so john ray had termed the word species and he described in the hysteria that is he described in the hysteria generalis planetorum in three volumes he described about the species and same way carolus linnaeus in system natura he describes about the species and charles darwin the famous work considered as father of evolution that is origin of species where the natural selection has occurred. So he also talk about the species. So now we will see the species in detail what the scientists had said about the species. As we all know species is the basic unit of classification. And John Ray in his book had given the species is a group of morphologically similar organism arising from a common ancestor. So the species are morphologically similar. Morphology means external. External or physically. External or physically they are same. And they are coming from the common ancestor. For example... Homo sapiens, the man, the man, Homo sapiens, the man or woman, come from the same ancestor, the chimpanzee monkey, apes. Okay, so the from the apes we arrived. Okay, the human, that is man and the woman had evolved. After that, this man, that there is the both the um, men and women produces fertile young ones. Of the same species, they are not producing any monkey or any donkey. So they are producing the same species of Homo sapiens, human being. So that is called species. Okay. And next, Carolus Linnaeus, who is the father of taxonomy, in his book System Natura, defined the species as a group of organism that have similar morphological and physiology and can interpret to produce fertile offspring. So same definition only what John, John Ray tell no, told no. The same definition only um, uh, that is um, Linnaeus also given. So morphology means physically that is externally. Physiology means functional like a digestion, like a digestion, circulation, uh, next nervous system that and all physiological functions. So morphology and physiology and reproduce that is reproduction and they reproduce young ones. The two fertile young ones they are reproducing. So that is called species. And even the Charles Darwin, the species that is origin of a species explains the evolution. How the single cell become multicellular, how the uh, fish becomes amphibian that is frog, frog becomes a Mm, a snake, snake becomes uh, birds, birds become mammals, like that is the uh, mammals uh, and the, this mammal, mammals, how it comes, so based on what selection he had took, natural selection, which can survive, they can survive, which cannot able to survive, it is gone off from the country, that is from the world, so like that he also explained, he also take as the um, that is um, experimental unit as species. So this is the concept of species they may ask in 3 mark. Now you must know the tools for the study of taxonomy as we have seen the classification and taxonomical hierarchy and now the concept of species. 
so for this you must know the tools what are the tools going to be used in the taxonomy to study the the morphologically similar characters so when we take off the plant taxonomy we will be seeing about the herbarium and botanical gardens so herbarium and the botanical gardens with the help of it we can study the plant taxonomy but in zoology we have to deal with the museum taxonomical keys zoological and marine parks and the printed materials also we can able to visit that is uh, uh, the uh, printed materials we can be able to visit through the websites and the taxonomical to tools you have to visit you know the field trips the when you are studying they will take and take you for study trip and uh, classification preservation documentation how they are the taking place that and all so in uh, in our area that is in chennai you have a wandalur zoo that is arigner anna zoological park many of them had uh, uh, gone there to see the animals how they the, how they are kept there in the natural environment okay so that is the south western part of chennai it is located and how much acres means 1500 acres it is one of the largest zoological park in india and houses there is zoo houses 2553 species of both flora flora and fauna are there in the park so you have also visited uh, there and it is one of the zoological park to see how the animals are kept how the birds are kept and how they are treated there okay that things we can see and this is the zoological park park where um, uh, you have you have also went there to see the animals the classical taxonomical tools the classical means there is some comparative analysis we are going to see comparison between each and everything based on the similarities that is same thing same features and different features this similarity means different so museum so biological museum so it collects the preserve, preserved plant and animal which is studied which is being studied and which is extinct means it is extinct that is it is exist from the world and it is acting as a fossil now like a dinosaur dinosaur was once upon a time it was in the world but now it is not there so like that the extinct species and the living organism can be studied in the museum and zoological parks the wild animals are protected with an environment and under whose care human care only that is taking place and they are giving better food habitat and behavior also so this is the museum museum and um, in a, i took this picture from the egmore egmore museum and this is the zoological park where the animals are uh, live uh, uh, kept in an environmental condition marine parks so the marine organisms are protect, protected in the marine environmental okay conditions like fishes uh, dolphins that can be seen in and printed taxonomical tools that is identification cards that is description field uh, guides and manuals can be printed in the uh, marine parks or um, zoological park to to get an idea about it they had printed and we can also get it the get that books everything so this is marine park and molecular taxonomical tools so the molecules means we will have to talk about the rna and dna proteins these are the molecules present in the present in the that is uh, organisms so the classical tools to from classical tools the first we have seen the classical tools like museums zoological parks that now we going to see the molecular tools on based on that also the classification can takes place and it is very easy to learn the taxonomical methods dna barcoding dna hybridization and dna fingerprinting so dna barcoding you can see this barcode now uh, you can see this barcode in many of the 
many of the items like toothpaste uh, even uh, so in, that is the bath coating seen in the materials like that dna also had a bath coating so which is easily to identify the specimen data when you kept it in the microscope which is connected to the computer you kept this um, bath coating it easily identify the person what specimen it is it is a uh, human being it is an animal or like that they can e easily test and this bath coating is a um, is very effective in theos that is archaeology department so now they are finding it now that as in kiradi so many uh, things are uh, coming out civilization and uh, the uh, small that is how the civilization was there and how it is destroyed that things and all they are finding it now so uh, even the bar coding is very helpful in the archaeology department and next it is dna hybridization how the two dna are hybrid this is a different dna and this is a different dna and they got hybridized and to form a different uh, uh, different thing so that uh, that is uh, possible in a uh, plants even animals also it is possible but only but only in man we didn't able to get this okay but in future we will get means there is no disease in man like that type of uh, uh, procedure is going on research is going on in dna hybridization whether the man uh, doesn't have any defect in the genetic committee genetic um, material so that we will discuss in the next year to have a uh, molecular genetics and this is fingerprinting so dna fingerprinting so that is the fingerprint that is the fingerprints that it is a, it is a deal with the crimes crime and like this you can print out you can take a print out of the dna whether the subject one suspect one suspect two suspect three like that they will find out and they will code for which organism so here it is an, a crime field but like this only they will use the dna fingerprinting to identify the organism also and it is also one of the tool to study the taxonomy and now automated species identification tools so this is deals with our computers so we need to know the cyber tools a l i s alis that is automated leaf hopper identification system so the leaf hoppers now in now this pandemic time we have uh, we have heard about the leaf hoppers destroying the fields no so with the help of this a l i s system we can identify the leaf hoppers what type it is where it is originated and where it is where it can how it can be destroyed so that thing we can identify by a l i s daisy digital automated identification system so by digitally we can identify the organism how it comes a b s a b i s automated b identification system so the b's can be identified through this spida s p i d a species identified automatically that is spiders webs and bee wings these characters are easily identified and draw wing that is honey bee wings identification so some of the honey bee wings have been cut now with the help of it what type of honey bee whether it is here it is a it is an endangered one or extinct one like that easily we can see with the help of automated species identification tools and neo taxonomical tools neo means new so electron microscopic images are used to study the cell organelles with the help of that we can identify the particular organelle belongs to the particular organism ethology of taxonomical tools tools so the behavior of the organism can be identified ethology that is the behavior can be identified the sound of the birds bioluminances so recently this bioluminances was occurred in marina beach so in the night they had seen the it is due to the algae and fungi in the due to over pollution the some of the fung algal will be create a create a light like blue light or green light like a, a, or pink that is purple color light like appearances it is seen in the night and e taxonomical resources you know taxa 
that is electronic resource for digital images and description can be used the species developed by the natural history that is natural history museum london you know taxon means integrated open taxonomic access so this is in full form from this they may ask the expansion of you know taxa okay remember it so this is the taxonomical tools in that molecular taxonomy is important and the spida it is automated one they will ask in one mark automated species identification tools they may ask in one mark thank you for watching the video if you have any doubts post your doubts in the comment box give a thumbs up share and subscribe to science easy tech channel